welcome dear student today we'll see about the question answers as well as the viva voce of the dissection of hibiscus flower okay so first question that is what is the flower so what is flower flower is a condensed modified shoot specially designed for the sexual reproduction or simple way we can say that it is a reproductive organ okay all reproductive parts are present in that okay next question what is the function of flower so what is the function of flower to produce the haploid gametes and ensure that the fertilization will take place so it produces the haploid gametes that male gametes in the pollen grain as well as a female gamete that is in the embryo sac okay so that is the main function of the flower next what are the essential floral whorls and why so androecium and gynoecium are the essential floral whorls of the flower so that is a male reproductive organ and the female reproductive organ and why they are the Uh, more important or why they are the essential because they actually take part in the reproduction okay while the calyx and corolla they are the accessory whorls they do not take the actual part in the reproduction so that's why androecium and gynoecium considered as a essential whorls next what is the difference between the polypetalous and the gametopetalous corolla so polypetal poly means free so corolla is a free petals are we can say the petals are free so polypetalous condition petals are free that's why it is called as a polypetalous condition and gametopetalous condition means the corolla means the petals are the united so here in case of the hibiscus flower if you observe that this what the petals are there so this petals are free they are not united petals are free so condition is called as a polypetalous condition okay now another example is there so in this what we can say the petals which are the united they are not free so that's why it is called as a gametopetalous condition in case of the hibiscus the polypetalous and in case of this flower it is a gametopetalous condition gamo means united poly means free next is there what are the different parts of the stamens and the carpel so stamen stamen consists of what filament connective and the anther if you see that in case of the diagram so here this is about the stamen single stamen so stamen consists of what these are the anther and here is a connective is a present and this is a filament okay so this is what the parts of the here you can observe the clearly about the this the anther is there it is a kidney shaped anther and it is a monothecus okay so here the anther then the connective and then the here the filament this is about what about the parts of the stamen of the hibiscus next next is about the parts of the carpel so carpel consist of what it consist of the ovary then the style and the stigma so this whole is considered what it is a carpel okay so carpel consist of the ovary style and the stigma these are the parts of the carpel next how does the brassica flower is a differentiate different from the hibiscus flower if you see that about the hibiscus flower which shows a pentamerous symmetry pentamerous symmetry means what it shows a fine numbers of the petals fine numbers of the sepals and fine numbers of the carpels okay and here the stamens which are infinite so maximum 555 is there that's why it is called as a pentamerous symmetry well in case of the brassica here it shows what it shows a four sepals it shows a four petals and the two carpels and the six stamens so this all are what or what are the different numbers are there so here that's why do not show the pentamerous symmetry so that is the main difference between the hibiscus flower and the brassica flower that hibiscus flower shows a pentamerous symmetry while the brassica do not shows a pentamerous symmetry another difference is there about the hibiscus flower if you observe that here the five locules are present five locules are present but in case of the the brassica here it shows a two locule so here bilocular and here it is a pentalocular okay so these are what the questions are there about this what are the dissection of the hibiscus flower okay now we'll go to the next about the mcq so in the mcq the type of the placentation seen in a hibiscus ovary is a exile placentation why exile placentation because all ovules which are attached to the axis so here in this diagram we observe that all ovules are get attached to the axis that's what is called as a exile placentation okay regarding this how to draw this diagram easily step by step in a 2 minute so that i showed in one of my video that you can watch okay next is there that is about the parietal placentation or marginal placentation or the free central placentation so here in this diagram we can observe that 
parietal means here and the periphery okay these are what at the periphery in case of the papaya if you cut the papaya we observe that or in case of the pumpkin also which is the uh, attached to the periphery while the marginal placentation at the margin that we observe in case of the pea fruit okay so here at the margin this all ovules are attached while the basal placentation so here in case of the sunflower if you observe that this the ovule is attached at the base of the ovary okay so these are different types of the what is the placentation next the anther in the hibiscus are monothecous anther monothecous means what single lobe so just now on the slide we observe that so monothecous in case of the hibiscus hibiscus shows a protandrous condition it will favor cross pollination protandrous condition means what the androecium mature first so of course because of that there is a cross pollination next in hibiscus estivation of the calyx is a well weight and corolla is a twisted okay so what is mean by well weight what is mean by twisted so in this diagram you can observe well weight so here well weight means here what are the the petals are there which are here attached end to end so this is called what the well weight type of the what the estivation okay next twisted estivation so this we observe in case of the petals of hibiscus one end is inside and one end is outside one end is inside outside inside and the outside so they twist on one another okay that's why it is called as a twisted type of the estivation or it is also called as a contorted type of estivation if you observe that in the hibiscus so here this one end is there which is a inside and one end is outside okay if you cut this we can get the clear idea about how the arrangement is there okay so this is about what the petals twisted estivation in case of the hibiscus so here is the transverse section is taken about the flower through the calyx and up through the corolla so here what we observe this all calyx which are united and they shows the estivation which is of the velvet type of the estivation while here the the petals are there which which are twisting on one another so this is about the twisted estivation imbricate okay, type imbricate type in which one is totally outside and another they, they are twisting on one another okay so that is a imbricate type and the vexillary type of the estivation estivation we observe here in case of this what are the the gokarni flower okay so here one both shape structure is there one is outside other is inside and other two are Uh, I mean, the one end inside, other end is the uh, outside. Okay, so this is about what about the different flowers estivation. But in case of hibiscus, calyx. So calyx means what the sepals are there, which are the well weight and corolla, which are the twisted. It means about the petals. Hibiscus is a hypogynous flower because it is uh, having the superior ovary. Superior ovary. Ovary superior means what? ovary as at the top and remaining whatever the part of the flower or the floral whorls are there which are arising from the base that's what is called so here in case of hibiscus what we observe that the ovary is there which is a superior rest remaining floral whorls that is about the stamens or we can say about the androecium then the petals are there the sepals are there which are arising from base of the ovary that's why ovary is a superior ovary okay but in case of the pomegranate or in case of the guava if you observe that ovary is what it is a inferior okay so ovary is at the base and other floral whorls there is a calyx corolla and rusium which arise above from this okay so this is about what the inferior ovary that we observe in case of the guava as well as in case of the pomegranate Next is there about the diagram. So about the TSO ovary diagram like this, you have to you have to draw. Okay, easy step in my other video already I have showed and label all the parts like that. Okay, now we'll come to the viva vosi. Now for the hibiscus dissection, dissection of the hibiscus flower, viva vosi. One or two question will be asked for the half mark. So which are the different questions the examiner may ask? Which are the different floral whorls in flower? Okay, so calyx, corolla, androecium, and the gynoecium, which are the different floral whorls. What is mean by complete flower? So when the flower shows all four floral whorls, that time the flower is called as a complete flower, or it is otherwise the flower is considered as a incomplete if any one of the whorl is absent. What is the difference between essential whorl and the accessory whorls? Essential whorl means what the androecium and the gynoecium, which actually take part in the reproduction. That's what is called essential whorls. While the accessory whorls, that is the calyx and corolla, which are used, which are considered as a, the helpers, which are only helping in the reproduction. They do not take actual part in the reproduction. 
what is mean by exile placentation when the all ovules are attached to the axis it is called exile placentation what is mean by parietal placentation when the ovules are attached to the periphery marginal placentation when ovules are attached to the margin this basal placentation when the ovule attached to the base okay in the previous what are the question already we have discussed what is mean by pentamerous symmetry penta means a fine so the the what are the sepals petals as well as the carpels which are fine number that's why it is called pentamerous symmetry that we observe in case of the hibiscus flower what is mean by superior ovary that also just now we have observed that superior ovary is at the superposition while the remaining floral volus to below it inferior ovary ovary is at the base and remaining floral volus which arise from the above side of the ovary what is mean by twisted that also we have discussed okay what is mean by val valvate as well as vaxillary and the imbricate aestivation okay so with the help of the diagram just now we have discussed what is monothacus monothacus means what single loop so that in case of hibiscus just now i showed that single loop the anther is a present that's why it is called what monothacus bithacus means when the two lobes are present that also just now we observed so when the two lobes that time it is called as a bithacus anther which are different parts of the gynoecium and the stamen okay so different parts of the gynoecium stamen that also we have observed in case of the gynoecium the ovary style and the stigma in case of the stamen the anther connective and the filament are the different parts what is the function of the ovary so function of the ovary ovary convert into the fruit after fertilization okay and what is the function of the stigma stigma provide the what the receptive or it uh, secretes a sugary substance where the pollen grain get germinate okay while next what is the function of ovule ovule develop to form the seed and what is the function of anther anther function that is producing the pollen grain and what is the function of pollen grain pollen grain produce the male gametes okay these are the functions are there what is the difference between the protandry and the protogyny condition protandry means androecium mature first and progyn protogyny means gynoecium mature first so which favors the cross pollination that we observed in the previous question bisexual and unisexual flower difference bi means what two both the sexes are present in the flower is called bisexual flower and when only one sex is a present that time it is called as a unisexual flower so in one of my video about the pumpkin plant so where we can observe that bisexual and the unisexual flower you can observe unisexual male and the female flower but in case of the hibiscus we observe it is a bisexual because androecium gynoecium both are present in that okay so these are what the viva question the examiner me ask so this only one or two viva questions they will ask okay while rest of the what are the marks are there which is there for the actual dissection and displaying the floral whorls and for taking the ts of ovary okay if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends so everyone will get the benefit of the same okay thank you about the dissection of the flower in detail about the hibiscus flower i have already showed in one of my video you just watch that video you can get the clear idea about the from the start till the end about the dissection of the flower with all questions everything is explained in detail okay